This podcast contains explicit content intended for adults 18 years of age or older. These stories are not intended for children under the age of 18. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm towering over the cornfield. The world looks so much smaller now. I feel the urge to walk on my back legs. My whole body is right muscly and veiny. <laughs> Good one, Rodriguez. Our human house is in the distance. Uh, it looks small. Oh, wow. We're glowing purple. Ow! I have a hole in my shoulder. I'm bleeding. Wait now. It's healing up already. I'm glowing red now. I feel angry. Get off my property, demon. It's our human Bradley. I feel so angry with him. Get out of here or I'll put more holes in you, boy. I can't control myself. I'm running towards him in a fury. We all are. Hey, now, I, I didn't mean it. We are celebrating this meal. Human tastes good. We all want more. Only a few of us have been off our property a few times. It seemed dangerous before. Until now, I feel we can do anything. Let's go. Hey, watch out, buddy. I pick up the car and toss it. <laughs> wow. We are still glowing red. Let's go further. We are running down the middle of the street, smashing cars. We see taller buildings ahead, like very tall. I feel enticed to climb them. I have to get to the top. Wait, I see people inside. I'm going in. Stop it! That's what my friend said right before you smashed them with a hammer. That's what my brother said right before you stomped him with your boot. That's what my sister said when you trapped her and drowned her in water. That's what my mother and father said, and many others. I've never had the opportunity to be stronger than you before. I tried to be friends with you. Who's the rats now? Ah! Bitter, sweet, revenge. I still want to go to the top of this place. Let's go. We go back out the window and start climbing to the top. We are on the top now. I've never been this high before. Yeah, dudes, I'm feeling funny too. Oh, we are getting small again. I see the world getting bigger. We are all back to our normal size. Wow, I, I can't even see the ground. We are so far up. What's that? We look in terror as we see the furry demon I saw for the first time the other day. 
that's what must have killed Jesse. Our instincts kick in. We have to hide. Or run. I don't care if it doesn't see us. I just need to get further away. I'm in such a panic, I can't calm down. Where do we go? Where do I go? I'm at the edge of this tall building. I think I can see water below. I think I can do it. I'm gonna take a run off and jump. My friends see what I'm doing and they all follow suit. I lean my body forward in mid-flight to glide towards the water. I am underwater now. I suddenly feel a wave come over me. I see my friends under the water too. We are all glowing blue. My vision is becoming clear. I can suddenly see clearly underwater and I can breathe as well. Everything is so clear and vivid. My tail is changing shape. It's wider now. It's helping me swim faster. I feel compelled to swim deeper. Yeah, Rodriguez, this is incredible. We are propelling through the water at an immense speed. What's that noise? How did it find us? The furry team is hot on our tails. We must travel faster. I see an old boat deep down under. Let's hide there. We enter in different entry points and do what we do best. Hide. I'm starting to change again. I'm getting bigger. But I'm inside this ship. I'm running out of room. This is a lot of pressure. I break through the ship and I feel so powerful again. I see my opponent. I warned you before, if you don't stop, I will bite. I lunge at the furry demon. Fur and flesh is cut and beaten. My friends are cheering me on. You are not going to win because I am now the demon. I realize that it's over. We slowly drift away from each other. Only one of us is lifeless. Why do I feel awful now? My friends start moving in and feeding on what's left. Get off! Get off! It's not right! Why are we like this? Why do we do this? Rodriguez speaks up. It's our nature, our instinct. We are striving to survive. Sometimes the cost of survival seems cruel and unjust. We need to eat or be eaten. It's not a matter of disrespect. When they're bigger than us, they would also eat us up. Thanks for the insight, Rodriguez. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm going home. I begin to swim in the direction I believe is home. I look behind and see him still in company of my friends. So we swim together. Almost to the top of the water.
this world isn't much different than us living in the walls when we were small. Except it seems everyone is running for their lives. I'm glowing again. Wait now. I'm turning black. My strength is beyond what I can even imagine. My eyes squint and I smirk. Evil. I feel that any mercy I had is gone now. I'm reverting back to my instincts. This is my home, and I am going to rule it. it. You will all be trophies for my endless halls. Your blood will spill, and we will drink. As well, we will eat your flesh, except for your head. It will be put on a pike, displayed for your friends, and for everyone's reminder that we are superior to you now. We will hunt every last one of you down, because you are the infestation that must be eradicated, you fucking pest. Ah!